Hey everyone, in this video we will walk step by step through installing Visual Studio, the most important and most powerful IDE which is Integrated Development Environment for .NET developers and then we will explore its most important features by building a small ASP.NET Core MVC project. Now whether you are just starting out or exploring web development, this is the perfect place to begin. So let's get started. First let's install Visual Studio Community Edition. It's free, fully featured and perfect for beginners. So for that we will have to open our browser and then just search for Visual Studio space download. Alright. Now on the result page you just have to scroll down till you find this option that is Visual Studio Community download latest free version we are not going to download this one that is visual studio code this is a text editor and visual studio is an ide so both are different we are interested in downloading the visual studio and not the visual studio code so just click here now from here you can check out the features of the visual studio or you can just click here on this download button all right and the download is going to begin open the download folder where you have downloaded it and then you can just right click on the setup file then click on run as administrator let me just minimize these windows all right then visual studio installer is going to begin you have to click here on continue after this the visual studio installer is going to download the packages that are going to be required to install the IDE on your computer so you just have to sit back and relax now once the installer has finished installing it's going to open a window something like this and you will see a list of workloads these are the predefined sets of tools based on what kind of development you want to do like for example I am more interested in working for web development so I'll just tick mark this one ASP.NET and web development if you are interested in working with python development you can tick this one as well in the same way you can click on node.js development or azure development depending on what you need you can scroll down for more packages if you are interested in developing apps for your desktop or mobile then you can go through these packages as well for example this is the one .NET desktop development or .NET multi-platform app ui development if you scroll down more then you will find the options for gaming and then other tool sets like data storage and processing you can tick mark this one as well now once you have ticked or selected the workloads that you want to install on your computer and if you are not sure about the workloads at this point you can always download or install the other packages later and from here you can see it's going to take 10.32 GB so if you are not sure whether you have that much of space on your hard disk you can check from your computer once you are sure of that you can just click here on install the installation may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed once it's done you can just launch visual studio now that visual studio is installed let's create a new asp.net core project so first of all we will have to click here on launch button so that we can open the visual studio then it's going to ask you to sign in so if you have a microsoft account you can just directly sign in using that if you have a github account you can use that or you can just create a new account in case if you don't have any of these two accounts or you can click here skip and add your account later but i highly suggest you to create a microsoft account if you don't have it and then sign in using that then get a github copilot free you can click here on maybe later now on this window we have these four options available first is clone a repository so if you already have your project on any of the repository like a github or azure then you can clone a project from that repository or you can open a project or solution that already exists so if you already have a project or a solution on your computer locally then you can open that up 
or you can just open a local folder and navigate and then edit code for any folder or you can just create a new project which is exactly what i'm going to do so i'll just click here now you can see there are three options from which we can choose it's saying all languages so if you click here you can see the options of all the languages which are available i'll just select c sharp from here we need to search for asp.net you can select this one asp.net core web app model view controller so just click here on this one if you are not able to find this from here you can just search here in the search bar all you have to do is type asp.net space core space web space app and then you can find this one right here so you just have to click on it and then click on next now you have to give a name to your project so you can just make it my first mvc app or something like that and then you can choose the location if you want to change it you can change it from here and then i'll just click here on place solution and project in the same directory then click on next now from here i'll suggest you to use dotnet 8 which offers the long term support and then the authentication type let it be none and then configure for https you can untick it like this and then you can just click here on create that's great now we have created a basic mvc project so before we run the project let's take a quick look at the folder structure and the important files that have been created so let me just close this one and then close this github copilot chat and then you will find this solution explorer here and from here you can see this is our app my first mvc app now coming under this controllers we have this home controller dot cs now it contains the c sharp files that handle user input as well as the interactions and then after that we have the models folder under the models we have this error view model dot cs models basically define the shape of data example the classes which are going to be used to transfer or store information and then after that we have this views folder under view we have the html and the razor files the razor files are the one which have dot cs html extension basically it's used to display the user interface then we have this folder www root under this folder we keep all the static files like css javascript images and then at the bottom we have this app settings dot json it contains the configuration for the application then we have this program dot cs this is the entry point of the application and it manages the services and the pipeline needed for running the application so this is the basic mvc structure model is for data view is for user interface controller is for logic so mvc stands for model view controller and it helps organize code in a clean and manageable way now let's run this app and see what visual studio gives us by default so from here you can see we have this uh, run or play button so you can click here on this arrow you can just let it be ticked on http and then just click here on run now it says trust the iis express ssl certificate this is used by hot reload to create a secure connection to the browser would you like to trust you can just click here on don't ask me this again and click on yes then click on yes again all right and this is the default application that has been created by visual studio now let's explore some powerful visual studio features that you will use every day while working with projects let me stop the app all right so one of the most important feature that you are going to use every day with visual studio is this solution explorer where you can explore your project the project that you're working on the different files and folders and then we have this intel isense which is visual studios smart code completion tool so whenever you type a code it's going to suggest you the variable names methods and fixes since we are not creating a project here so i'll not be able to show you that since 
i have to keep in mind the length of this video and then we have code navigation so anyways let's open one file and then let's check out some features so i'll just click here on home controller now from here you can see there are a lot of functions that we are calling for example this view is a method or a function which we are calling so what you can do is you can just press and hold control button and then click on it and then you can see the entire definition of that view method so it works like that and then we have error list and output window in the bottom panel it shows you all the errors the build the build logs and debugging outputs and then we have something called as live server debugging so for example if you click here on this left side of this code that is line 13 if you click here and you make it red like this so it creates a breakpoint so once you have created a breakpoint and then you run the project you will be able to inspect the data in real time let's add a simple custom page to see how mvc actually works so i want you to right click on this controllers and then scroll to add and then you scroll to first option that says controller and then you choose the first one that is mvc controller empty click on add you select this again mvc controller empty and then before we add it let's give it a name i'll just make it hello controller let the extension be dot cs then click on add so these lines are going to be auto generated now here in this i action result index method before we return let's add one more line so i'll just write view and you can see how the intel isense helps you to auto complete the code that you are trying to write so i'll write here view back dot message equals to welcome your first custom mvc page then add a semicolon at the end all right and then click here right click here on this view folder and then scroll to add and then here add a new folder let's rename it to hello all right then right click on this hello folder and then scroll to add and from here select view and then we will select this one that is the razor view empty click on add then from here razor view empty let's change the name let's make it greet.cshtml and then create it all right now here let's just create a h2 tag and uh, we will write at view bag dot message and from here we are going to print the message that we have written here welcome to your first custom page now let's save all the files first and don't forget to remove the breakpoint that we have added in the home controller before you run the project then just return back to this hello controller and we have missed out one small detail here we don't have to write index since the view that we have created is greed so we have to write that here we don't have an index file like this then run your project once again then you type hello and greed and then you will get a message like this and there it is your first custom mvc page so we have installed visual studio built and ran an asp.net core mvc project explored the project structure and even created our own page if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel let me know in the comment section if you'd like a full mvc series or you want me to add database support forms or login features Thanks for watching and keep building.